afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 11th of May, 2021. It's a Tuesday. How are you doing today? We are continuing to work, <coughs> excuse me, on the flower pot bestie from Diamond Art Club. Yes, it is a very big canvas and we're going, we are going to be enjoying it for some time to come. Let me put this here and let me find the uh, symbol F for this leaves. It's a beautiful warm day here in Hungary. Going to be close to 30 degrees, which is summer temperature here. And then we're going to have a cold front coming in, but uh, we're not going to have um, the horribly cold weather anymore. So I think we are over the worst part of freezing. I have already shut off my furnace and set it up for um, hot water only, but no heat. This is how the gas furnace works over here. For the summer, we have a little um, umbrella, you know, one of those sun umbrellas. And for the winter, we have a snowman. This is how you set up your uh, gas furnace, which also provides the hot water and the heat. My stove is electric, so. But also uh, what happens is that, you know, when you shut off the heat, you don't have the tower warmer anymore. It only works when the heat works. But it's warm enough for the towels to dry. And anyway, after one use, I usually wash the towels. I'm, I'm funny that way. I don't have a dryer. I haven't found it necessary. Do have one. You are being very crooked here. Not nice. I don't have a dishwasher either. I figure if I'm going to have to rinse the dishes, I might as well wash them while I'm there. I mean, there's only two of us here in this apartment. So, it's no problem. We went clothes shopping today with hubby. Let me not tell you about it. I mean, going shopping with a man, I don't know how you are about it, but it's absolutely impossible because he needed a lot of clothes. And it's like, no, I don't really need it. I go, yes, you do. No, I don't. I don't. Yes, you do need it. That's why we're here, because you need it. I mean, you literally have to force him to uh, buy new clothes. I told him, I am not washing any more raggedy clothes, okay? You put them on you, I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut them off of you. You are not going to wear it anymore. So this morning he was like, I don't know, it's such a nice sunny day. I go, yes, it's a nice sunny day for us to go shopping. I don't want to, I didn't ask if you want to. We're going. Anyway, that was my gift to him, his Aida present. And I'm very happy that I forced him to go shopping. Truly, he needed everything you can think of. So we're all done with that. It's worse than taking a kid shopping, I'm telling you. But we got all nice stuff at a pretty good price. They already have uh, have it stocked up for the summer, the store. But um, 
you know, Mother's Day was over in this country a week earlier than in, let's say, the U.S. So with Easter, Mother's Day, and everything else over, the next comes, um, you know, with the uh, kids. Um, but you cannot have a prom because of the little problem. But uh, still, they need suits and a prom dress. Um, they have like a little dinner. So that doesn't concern us. And I was very happy that they got uh, new stock in the store and at a very reasonable price. So I have nothing to complain about. Isn't that odd? I'm the one that usually finds something to complain about. Well, besides a hobby, not wanting to go shopping. But, yeah, that's not complaining, it's just stating a fact. You know, if it was up to him, he'd be running around naked, I guess, I don't know. And I'm glad that he found things that he likes because that's another aspect, you know, his taste. I told him, this is hungry. This is not angel deer. This is what they wear here. It seems like he was happy with the haul. I mean, it was. I was like, "Oh, this looks good, dear. <clears throat> Try it on. Uh, this looks good too. Try it on." And he's like, "I don't. I, I didn't ask if you wanted, dear. Just try the blasted clothes on." And then he got into the. Uh, you know, the groove of things. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. I mean, we went out an outing to Chopron, and I swear this guy did not have any decent clothes to put on. I'm like, you're really not going to wear that, are you? He's, yes, I am. There's nothing wrong with it just because there's a bunch of holes in it. So I had to put my foot down and be assertive. I rarely do it because he is a wonderful man, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to pick on him. He kept on saying, I will go shopping, I will go shopping. I said, I heard that for the past six months you will go shopping. So guess what? We're going shopping. Truly, it's a, for May, it's a very nice warm day. There is a breeze, which almost I was like, oh, that feels good. It was early in the morning, so we did not stop by for our usual ice cream. There is an ice cream shop on the way home. What the store is about I would say four houses away from us because we are right in the middle of the city. So everything is close by, including the hospital where he got his finger stitched. He cut it. Yeah. It was an eventful weekend, folks. Yeah. I prefer to be a little bit more boring, but everything turned out fine. Actually, I'm very relieved that we are over this shocking misery, this shopping misery, you know. Hey, come on, I knew the date today, so I can't pronounce the words today. I mean, you can't have everything, you know. Be gentle with me, I'm old. Actually not, but I like to say that. 
Can I really use that excuse when I get older? I'm old. I don't understand. I don't know how to do this. I'm tired and my nerves and my heart and my blood pressure and you name it. I wonder if that will work. I strongly doubt it. Okay, we got the uh, some of the green into the leaves. I think this is such a lovely uh, canvas. And usually what happens is, besides the fact that I dump drills, you know, I mean, my usual routine. But what happens is when we finally do the face over here, it seems to bring um, the canvas to life, doesn't it? It's my, um, it's my thing. Uh, now we need um, the straight green line, one of these over here, into the leaves. I have no idea what I'm saying. Folks, I'm tired. I mean... I was fighting with a 40-year-old grown man all morning long, you know? Give me credit. I mean, I can't very well take him over my knee and spank him. I don't think that would work either. Stubborn as a mule. So, I'm going to have to put some uh, late supper together. And then I'm going to go for a walk. I don't think I will be able to do a three kilometers today because I am tired. But whatever I can manage, you know. Take my little trusty notice walking sticks along and do my little knot rounds. I don't think I'm going to go out to the fields. You remember that uh, we went for a walk with hubby and I was filming it? Um, because that's a round trip about uh, six to eight kilometers. So that's a bit too, um, too much of a good thing today. So we'll just take half the, um, half the journey. But I do want to take advantage of the nice sunshine and the warm weather. It's been a long winter locked up in the house so everybody's like yay sun is shining let's go outside i see they were putting some fishes in the fish uh, fishing pond over here um there's a um, river that goes across main street and there are stairs you can go from Main Street. There's a little bridge that goes over the river. Okay, not a little bridge, but you know, one of those four car lanes. And you can go down on the stairs to the river. And on the other side, the river forms a pool like, and um, they put fishes in there for the fishermen. And um, I'm going to film it next time. And uh, benches and everything that you can have a sit down and, you know, just enjoy the view, even if you're not fishing. Of course, we stay quiet so we don't disturb the fishes and the fishermen, you know. I was born near the Lake Balaton, so I understand about, you know, being quiet when fishermen are trying to fish, you know. You know, nobody has a dog in this house. And all last night, I had the window open because it was a mild night. 
Finally, I could sleep with the window open. There was a dog barking. So I think one of the establishments over here on Main Street must have a one of those guard dogs. You know, the, uh, the night guard has a dog because it sounded like a German Shepherd. It wasn't one of those, wait, 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 you know, the little toy ones. No, it was one of those, woof, one of those kind. Yeah. And I was like, oh, please, couldn't you walk that dog somewhere else? So finally, I wound up just closing my window. I said, oh, I don't believe this. But uh, after about midnight, it really started to get chilly, so... I wasn't too upset about having to close the window. So a lot of things have been happening. How are things where you are? Everything's starting to get back to normal like it is over here? Well, not exactly back to normal, let's just say Getting there, getting there, slowly. But the main thing is that we are getting there. Next month, I have to go for my second jab in the arm. I had to wait three months between uh, the two um, two doses. I hope my wonderful doctor didn't mess things up as usual. She has a habit of doing it. She would like to go into retirement, but she puts uh, too high of a price to sell her practice and nobody will buy it because uh, it is a village. You know, I have to go back to the village to see my doctor. I don't have a doctor here in the city because usually you are assigned to the doctor where your permanent residence is and the permanent residence is in the village. I, I think that was all. Um, all the arrows? Yeah. Okie doke. Yes, if you put it on a sticky part, it will stick to it. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you. I swear my brain is mush. And then we're going to need... We're going to need... What color? That, um, that uh, dot with a line, the blue color. Yep, because the flower is blue. This, uh, this bunch of flowers is on top of the little girl's straw hat. She has a straw hat on, you know, one of those gardening hats. And this bunch of flowers are decorating her hat. And we do have some sparkly Aurora Borealis um, drills, diamonds, on the end edge of the uh, hat to give it a little bit more sparkle. And what I see on the big sunshine Another spot where we're going to have the extra sparkly drills. Oh, it's going to make it absolutely beautiful. Yes, I love this canvas. It's not a little canvas, but we're coming along with it beautifully, considering that we are doing three different projects at the same time. So, absolutely no reason to complain about the speed that uh, it's getting done. I mean, 
after all, we are in no hurry. Um, the time schedule I set up for myself to keep myself organized as to, you know, what I am doing when, um, whose review comes next. Of course, first comes first served, you know, obviously. I think it's only fair. So the rest um, I already opened, I kitted it up. Um, I started them, and as far as completing, one after the other. I mean, I will do it, but I will not make a messy job out of it, you know. We want it to be nice. That's why we're doing it, to enjoy it, to see the beauty come to life. See adorable little faces like this little girl over here, you know. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to do crafts, we should enjoy it. But seriously, if I uh, if I accept a canvas for review. I tell them ahead of time that there are other projects ahead of them. So if they still want me to do a, pre a review, then they will have to wait their turn. They said, fine. I said, okay, then no problem. One after the other, we're going to do. I already did some work on the background of this because it was a whole bunch of color blocking. So I thought, yeah, let's get that out of the way. And then we can get to the flowers. And then we have like about, oh, one third left. Corner over there and a little piece across um, where her other arm is. She has one leg, no, she has one leg hanging over the flower pot. The other leg she has lifted up with flowers on it. Or, or else that's her arm. I, I don't know because I can't tell right now. We will see. Possibly her arm with flowers. I mean, why, why would she be holding flowers in her foot, right? Oh, what a silly woman I am. Obviously, it has to be her hand, so that's got to be her arm. Yeah, I know. I can see you laughing. Are you rolling on the floor also? Sometimes I feel like rolling on the floor. I see such silliness, including myself. We try to be polite. It's the afternoon. Everybody's going home from the first shift and going to the second shift to work. And this is Main Street, which means the traffic is going to pick up. As long as we don't hear those wonderful motorcycles, it's fine. Okay. This is part of the flower petal, this blue color. I used to know what was the name of this flower, but I forgot. Sometimes it's hard to do a synchronous translation. Sometimes our mind only wants to work in one language. There we go. Yeah, we have a couple more over there.
It's amazing if I have not walked out of the camera again. I have a tendency to do that. I get so engrossed in doing what I'm doing that I don't pay attention to the viewer. But that's a good thing about diamond painting. You get involved in it and it does relax you. Take my word for it. Even when I'm tired and I'm like, oh, I don't think I feel like diamond painting. I sit down and I start diamond painting and I'm like, oh, just, uh, just you know, this symbol, just a few more colors, just, just this line over here, uh, this corner over here. And before I know it, I've been diamond painting for a couple of hours, you know. And I'm like, wow, for someone that didn't feel like doing anything, I should have got a lot done. This is what I mean. It takes your mind off your everyday, um, what have you. We all have it. And you can see the beauty come to life under your hands. For me, that's amazing because, you know, I cannot draw a straight line. And don't ask me to draw anything that even resembles anything because, you know, that's no go. But I do this diamond painting and I wind up with a beautiful picture hanging on my wall. Absolutely amazing. I have no idea. Got to be very smart to figure all of this out, you know. So how many squares, how many colors? I know, I know, they're doing it on a computer, but still, somebody has to run a computer, right? The computer doesn't run itself. So, must be a very intelligent person. I get a headache just thinking about it. And then somebody has to program the computer. So, okay, you know, technology is fantastic, but you gotta have somebody that knows how to use it. And believe me, after setting up my new laptop, which took me a whole day, um, I, can, I can understand why geeks are paid so highly. <laughs> oh, yes, folks. That was something. But I did it. Actually, the windows gave me the most trouble because I had uh, windows with a non-existent email. Because when I had to switch from T-Mobile, from telecom um, to Vidanet, I lost that particular email. And the window still went to a non-existent email. So, can you sort of imagine the problem? It kept on wanting to put me back into that non-existent email. And, well, of course, I didn't know how to use the touchpad because I had a little Bluetooth mouse. So that was something I had to learn. But anyway, we got it done. And I was so proud of myself. Let me tell you, folks. I said, yeah, I did it. I did it. I mean, hubby came home from work and I was, you know, the corners of my mouth hanging down. I'm going, I don't like my new laptop. And he goes, you don't like the HP. You don't like the ASUS. What would you like me to buy for you? I said, uh, could I have my, my old Samsung back? He said, no. You can't. They don't have any of that in the store. You can own it. I go, but, but that's less expensive. He goes, I don't care. 
But when I finally got it set up, I go, yes, I think I like my new laptop. And my husband goes, oh my God, this woman. Yeah, I know. But you love me anyway. You don't have any other choice. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible like that. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of my shortcomings, believe me. Honestly. People don't think I am, but I am. Is this the S I'm looking for? Yes, it is. See a couple of this symbol? We're still working on the flower petal. Oh, wonderful. The kids got out of school. Now they're gonna hop up on their wonderful loud motorcycles. Yeah, this week, um, high school's opened. They can go to school. But the thing is that in Hungary, they're only taking their final exams now. There's not much left of school. For the great kids, there's a month about, or five weeks. But for the high school kids, they're doing their final exams. Um, in Hungary, there's verbal and written exams, but this year, the uh, verbal exams were canceled because of the little problem. It's very difficult for these kids to take the final exams. Majority of them are used to um, the rules from last year, unfortunately, you know. We do what we must do, and we must take our exams. So, so there is to it. This is the way things are done in Hungary. remember having verbal exams in my days but then I, I went to school overseas and um, I only remember written exams I don't see the point of having a verbal exam I mean if you can't write it down um, I doubt strongly that you are able to put it into words. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand something in that whole procedure. Oh good, now we have an ambulance. We live around the corner from the hospital. They have been rather quiet because things are getting um, better but this sudden uh, heat wave well we can call it a heat wave in this country anything over 20 celsius is considered a heat wave it does um wear down some people with you know blood pressure heart condition and things like that the sudden uh, warm weather usually brings out uh, problems in their health. Although majority of the places nowadays in Hungary has air conditioning. Before it was extremely rare. Um, all the hospitals have air conditioning. Before it was like open the window, you know, let some fresh air in. Yep. Mother Nature's built-in air conditioning. 
let's get a draft going, you know, and then people get pneumonia, but oh well, at least they're healthy. And you're like, okay. You want to shut the miserable window, please? Especially when the cleaning crew comes in with their chlorine bleach buckets. You definitely have to open windows. I mean, if you want to breathe. I do think breathing is mandatory to staying alive. I did hear that somewhere. of the symbols. Sun is still shining so I'm hoping I'm getting better lighting for the videos. Look, you don't belong here. No, no, no. I want you to come up from there. Good. That one's crooked. Yes, I find stray drills here, there, everywhere. Did manage to clean the windows this morning. I figured it's such a nice day and the sun was not shining this way yet. Usually all day long we have the sun shining on the windows. So we got a lot done today. It was one of those feelings, you know, it's spring. Time to get off your bottom and get moving. I think we went past the spring fatigue and now we're into let's enjoy the sunshine as much as possible. We don't have that much um, hot weather actually. We don't really need uh, air conditioner. Few days, maximum a week. That's about it. But there is a promise that they're going to open the health spa in June. I am truly looking forward to that. And so are my joints, you know, my aching bones. The Hot Mineral Spring Spa. Go and sit in the mineral spring tubs. They're like pools. And there's outdoor swimming or regular swimming pools. You know, a whole family affair. Mommy, daddy, grandmama, grandpapa, children, everybody can go. They have something for everybody. They even have a baby pool now. And they have baby swimming lessons too. In that, they mix the um, mineral spring water with, you know, regular chlorinated water for the proper temperature for the babies. Uh, what the pediatrician said that they should be um, using for the baby swimming lessons. Most of the babies seem to enjoy it. Some scream bloody murder. Although mommy or daddy is in the pool with them, I don't know why they are that's, you know, each one is different. Each one has their own personality. Some kids love to take a bath, others don't. My kids took a lot of baths, seemed to calm them down. 
and they did not want to sleep. So it was like, okay, you don't want to sleep? Let's go take a bath. Maybe that will tire you out. They don't get used to taking them for a ride in a car to make them go to sleep because that's what they want to do all the time then. Have you had that? Yep. I had a middle of the night taxi ride. I don't know, the baby was crying so hard I thought there was surely something was wrong with him. So we called a taxi to go to the emergency room, you know, called the pediatrician and said, bring him in. We got in a taxi, the kid shut up. I was like, I thought you're near, nearly dead or, or, or something. What, What is this? So we went to the emergency room anyway, and the doctor looks at me, what's wrong with the baby? I go, um, he's crying nonstop. The kid was grinning from ear to ear. Uh, he wouldn't stop crying, so I thought maybe there was something seriously wrong with him, and the kid is grinning at the doctor, and I'm like, Mm. Yep, live and learn, folks. But anyway, I did feel better that he got a checked over, make sure there's nothing seriously wrong, learn my lesson. Yes. Actually, it was funny. It was about 2.30 in the middle of the night, you know. I don't think for the doctor it was funny, but the doctors were playing with the kid. You know, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Honestly, he was screaming bloody murder. I thought he was sick. Really, take my word for it. So they tried giving him this uh, Tylenol, you know, for the babies, the night kind, thinking that will knock him out and he will go to sleep. He liked it. He wanted more. I go, I don't believe this. I was standing there like, are you sure you gave me the right, the right baby? Maybe, maybe you mixed up, you know, babies or something. Because I don't believe this child. He said, oh, ma'am. The first time mothers always have this kind of situation. It's perfectly all right. I'm going, thank you. Anyway, the kid slept for eight hours after that time, you know. I was like, could I take some of this stuff home with me? You know, in case the child decides to have one of the midnight fits or something like that. She goes, oh, this is not to be used often. I go, okay. There we go. So, I thank you for spending time with me this afternoon. I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Same time, same station. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. Bye for now.